Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm just about to do a little sandblasting job but before I started I just wanted to give you a couple of tips now you see this section here I used some uh, some sand just some fine sand that I uh, had in a bucket that I dried out and and sieved because you'll often hear that um, people suggesting not to use sand in your um, in your blaster well as far as I'm concerned that's just not true because I recently bought two days ago as a matter of fact a uh, 10 kilogram bag of grit and it cost me nearly thirty dollars 29.95 and uh, that's three dollars a kilo look if you've got um, access to sand free sand uh, all you need to do is to is to well and truly dry it out then and it works just fine so you know I don't see the point in uh, going to a great expense if you can get something for free. I, uh, I will be using grit on the job I've got to do now. And uh, But before I start, a couple of other tips. You want to make sure that if you're wearing a, a v-neck shirt like I am, that you do all the buttons up because this grit, it, it just flies everywhere. It'll get into everything. I'm wearing a cap. Uh, I looked to see if I could get a, um, a shower shower cap but I couldn't find one in the house so I just got to rely on the cap um, I'm also using a, a face mask um, mainly because the grit just uh, it just comes back at you and, and it, it really becomes annoying when, they, when it's hitting your face also um, make sure you wear protective eyewear using my uh, my GoPro uh, plus 3 black edition camera here because the it, it's inside a protective housing um, which will protect it from the grit uh, it's the reason I'm not using uh, either one of my two uh, digital SLR cameras uh, you've got to protect your camera because there's a lot of grit flying around and you know the cameras without protect protection are going to get damaged and you're going to have chips in your lenses so please if you're going to record uh, any sandblasting jobs you're doing make sure the camera is protected now, what I've got here is an old, it's an old uh, petrol pump, one that you screw into a 44 gallon drum and uh, my wife uh, wants me to clean it up and then I'll mount it, weld it to a Trident stand and uh, give it a coat of paint so you can put it in the garden, just as a bit of a display. So anyhow, I've just done on my, uh, my protective eyewear. And we'll get this show on the road. Now, as you can see, I'm using a an old galvanized um, garbage bin here, and the reason is that uh, I figure I can save a lot of the uh, a lot of the grit and reuse it. I, you know, all I have to do is just sieve it. Uh, waste not, want not. My motto. As you can see, there's a lot of dust comes off it, so you, you're well worth, um, worth your while to wear a, a, a face mask or a respirator. Because not only does it protect your lungs, it also protects your face. Here's another. Here's another very important tip I will give you. When I bought the, uh, the blasting gun a few days ago, it came with a three metre hose. And uh, when I used it for the first time, the uh, grit flow was intermittent. And there was only one reason I could uh, come up with why that was so, is that the, uh, the hose was way too long. So instead of a three metre hose, I've cut it down to about a metre length. 
and I would urge you to do the same because it's made a tremendous amount of difference. You can see here that I'm getting continuous flow of grit and uh, it's all because the, the hose is short. Uh, you can even have it half a metre if you can get the uh, your bucket of grit or sand nice and handy but whatever you do don't use a, a long hose. Now I've only been doing this for a few minutes and this is as much how much grit has come out of the gun. Now there's probably there's probably 500 grams there and all you need to do is put it through a, a sieve and you can reuse it. And another thing I'm wearing shorts and because of that I'm not wearing any uh, shoes and socks and uh, if you wear shorts yourself uh, just do as I do and wear a pair of flip-flops because the grit will find its way into your socks, into your shoes and you're very uncomfortable. Okay maybe it's not the thing to do but it seems to me fine to wear, to wear shorts and just a pair of flip-flops. It's, it, it, it's just a matter of choice, it's up to you. I should have got uh, my, my uh, angle grinder out and put a wire wheel on it and done this, but there's some places on this you couldn't get into with the wire wheel. And uh, any of you and who've used an angle grinder with a wire wheel, I know that it kicks around a fair bit too. And uh, this way you can get into all the little nooks and crannies around here, inside here, that you just can't do with a wire wheel. But of course, you haven't got a sandblaster. By all means, use a wide wheel. I can tell you one thing, fellow YouTubers. It's going through this grit pretty quick. I had um, 10 or 10 kilo bags. I uh, half filled this bucket uh, and then uh, I filled it again only a few minutes ago and I'll tell you what I'm down to about a third of a bucket now yeah there's still a fair there's a fair bit accumulating the bottom of the of the garbage can and uh, there's good lying all over the footpath here so um, as I said it, it does throw it here there and everywhere that's why you've got to protect yourself so but please don't do sandblasting without wearing goggles. You could even wear um, earplugs if you want to because it can find its way into your ears. I just decided to uh, change the nozzle over. This is the one I was running. It's a, it's a 6 millimeter bore and uh, I've changed it over to a 4 millimeter one. The gun came with three of these. I don't know why they give you three of the same, the same bore but they did. And the one actually fixed in the gun was a plastic nozzle that um, had a 4mm bore on it. And this is what you got on the inside. It's just a little um, a nozzle that's got a 2mm inlet and a millimeter outlet. And uh, so it just adds, it just builds up the pressure on it. So I don't know if the 4mm uh, um, nozzle will cut down the usage of the grit. But I'll only give it a try. turned out a bit of a news and too is that when you got the grit bucket the uh, this nozzle that goes into the bucket uh, keeps on moving and that's where you get the intermittent flow. 
got nothing to do with the uh, with the hose in this case. This of course the uh, the feeder tube keeps moving and then eventually sucks in there and you get no grit. You always want to be mindful of others around you too because there's a fair bit of pressure coming out of this gun and in combination with the grit Look at that, that's three layers of standard A4 paper It's not a toy It's not something we just played around with, it's a, it's a tool for a specific job You know what fellow YouTubers, I just swapped over to using a bit of fine sand here that I have and it works better than the damn grit and it cost me nothing This is the sand This is the grit I think the game works better. 